Charts Do's and Don'ts In this video, we will learn about do's and don'ts of charts. While using the charts, it is important to carefully incorporate the scope and purpose of the study. Some important issues are carefully decide the variables to be studied. Consider the example of room occupancy. Data could relate to the number of rooms or the revenue generated. A strategically planned differential pricing system could ensure good room occupancy. This could be studied by using data on the number of rooms occupied. However, use of data on monetary values helps to assess the financial performance. Hence, both sets of data could be studied using separate histograms. To further illustrate the link between data collection and chart construction, let us consider the example of diameters of wires. There are two ways to assess the quality of wires produced in respect of diameters. One approach is to formally measure and record the diameter of produced wires. And the second approach is to classify each wire as a piece whose diameter lies within or outside the specification limits. Sometimes both approaches coexist. Data obtained from measurements are presented as histograms, while data based on classification are presented using bar charts. Identify possible factors that could make the data sets heterogeneous, do not use heterogeneous data directly. These could be stratified into multiple data sets each of which is homogeneous. For example, room occupancy patterns would vary in different seasons. Separate histograms could be used for different periods. Outliers in the data set should be identified and possibly be eliminated to draw error-free conclusions. When outliers are to be included, charts should be accompanied by descriptive information to enhance clarity. For example, a drop in the number of viewers of a film on a particular day owing to transport strike is not indicative of the demand for tickets. Such information could also be communicated to a viewer. A reasonable amount of data should be used for quality conclusions, for example, bar diagrams that depict patterns in the demand for various blood groups should be based on data over a reasonably long period. Also, the sample size used and the period of data collection could be included for the viewer to have an idea on the reliability of the information portrayed. Thus, plans for data collection and chart construction should be synchronized after a thorough understanding of the context and the scope of the study.